going through my old videos, I actually saw that I recorded a video in January 2022, uh, why I don't set goals right now, it's called, and it should be uploaded at the time that you're watching this, but I actually wanted to expand on that and actually say that I think I made the right decision on, on not setting any goals there. So I mentioned about having a vision and I knew basically my desired heading for where I wanted to be or where, where I wanted to go, but the goals, I want them to be data driven and I still uh, hold with that and I stay with that uh, statement and I support it fully because if I don't have data to make my decisions, then what are my decisions for? I mean, they're all based on a whim. So now I have data and I have set goals now based on that. So what I did there during January, I decided that I should work hard, gather as much data as possible and be agile. And I did set goals. And this was during the summer after having worked a couple of months hard working, I knew my vision, I knew my desired direction, and I knew the purpose for what I, why, I was, why I was doing anything that I did at that time and at the same now. But now I have those data points that I can make my decisions on, which means that I know how many calls I make, I know, um, I know how many closes I have, I know, uh, if we're talking about sales, I know uh, the retention rate of people that we have in our company. I also know about the retention rate of our uh, clients, how many clients we have, how much revenue. This is all data that has been gathered by me just grinding. And I actually had a conversation together with a friend. Uh, so everything's coming together now, it just seems. I had this conversation with a friend. Um, she mentioned that she was struggling with uh, goals and, and she wants to achieve a lot of things, but she's not She's not achieving what she wants to achieve and she's not performing in at the top like she wants to perform. And she's a previous uh, athlete uh, in swimming. She's been winning a lot of competitions and she's really good. And I know she's a hardworking, dedicated person, but right now she's struggling with her goals or at least performance. And we talked about this and I just realized that um, you might be familiar with this as well, but just focus on executing. If you don't have any goals, I mean, you won't get far if you don't have any goals, visions, and dreams. If you don't have a strategy in place to get to those goals, yeah, you're in a disadvantage. But at the same time, you can't sit the whole time just planning out everything, everything that you're doing. So execution is the most important part of the plan that you execute upon it. And the plan might change, goals might change, anything might change. But what doesn't change is that you have executed. So use your time wisely, which is why I support my decision to for why I didn't set uh, any goals. Let me read this real quick. It's in the description. I'm actually gonna post this video. I haven't posted yet, which is really fun. Uh, or it's a little bit mind blowing. Not mind blowing, but it's a little bit weird because I'm looking at the video, it was recording in January. Now we're in August, August 20, uh, 2022. I'm gonna post this video like, directly after this video so it's going to be confusing for you guys but hopefully you'll understand by the title that I mentioned it. the video is from 2022 January um but yeah having a defined vision for how I want my future to look like and at this time when I have no set goals things are changing quickly and I want to figure out some stuff before setting yeah so yeah I, I didn't want to have these goals because I also was in the transitioning phase of like what I was supposed to do with YDM and my decision for my career and I made a very big decision to work with Orbroy at this time. So I think I made a, the, the, I think I made the perfect decisions at that time and I fully support it because I wouldn't be where I am right now and uh, if it weren't for me not setting in it, every decision that I have made has led to this moment and for you guys the same for you. Every decision that you've made has led to this moment, which means that sometimes things just fall into place. If you have a vision, if you have a dream, if you have a purpose, if you, have, if you know why you're doing things, some of the puzzle pieces will fall into place. Like you, you, you're priming yourself to do the right thing if you let yourself and if you trust yourself, if you trust your intuition. My intuition at the time at January this year told me don't set any goals. So I trusted my intuition. I did work hard 
I changed in or uh, I I paused YDM in order to work with Orbroy means that I've achieved a lot by that decision. So trust your instincts because you know in your gut feeling or maybe in the back of your head, I think you know what is the right thing. I think you know what you should do. And if you trust that instinct, if you trust yourself to make the right decisions, I think you're gonna go a long way. I really do. I think that you'll make a lot of good decisions, great decisions, hopefully, they'll take you to the next level, they'll take you to the level that you want to. So basically trust yourself. And I do, I do, I have set goals now and they might change because things change. You might achieve those goals. And if you haven't any goals for after that, then you're gonna make some goals. You gotta make some new goals. So it's a, it's an iterative process that you need to be agile with and trusting yourself in that process is, in my opinion, the most important part. Now, I'm not an expert in uh, any of these things. I'm just telling you my opinion. And based on my experience, my friends' experiences, and also content that I consumed, literature that I read uh, from my studies, and intuition so hopefully you trust your intuition as well if you have goals good for you if you don't have any goals maybe you should set them but maybe you should make the decision to actually grind and work because the more time you spend on planning instead of working is time that you can have spent on working instead of planning but you still need to have some sort of direction goal plan in place if you don't have it you can need data for it Mm, and the way to get it is by working but anyways hope you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and let me hear your thoughts i read through the comments goodbye